Hey guys, it's Ryan again with All Mine Ranch. You know, I posted two videos yesterday, first videos in 14 months, talking about the direction the channel might take and whether or not I can keep it up. That's what she said. Um, but today I'm doing another video and I'm in my new workshop. I just wanted to give you a quick tour and show you the chaos. So this is the garage port that I built and it has a pass-through situation going on here. So I can open up one door and then open up this one and be in my workshop. So it's fairly spacious. This thing is 34 feet long and 14 feet wide. Although with the, once you subtract, you know, the width of the two by six walls, you lose a feet, a foot in both directions, but I'm standing in the corner. You can kind of see it's got good size, simple sloped roof. So up here, it's about nine and a half feet tall. The reason light is coming in right now because I haven't put in the bird blocking in it. <clears throat> Pardon me, it slopes down here to about eight feet roughly. And it's got nice eaves all around it to keep the rain off of it. I got some big windows. This is the east wall, so all four of these windows faced a nice sunrise. Got a big wide 36 inch door on that end to bring in wide things like table saws. This other door uh, that lines up with the garage port is only 32 inches wide, but I put touch pad locks on both of those that have fingerprint sensors. Um, so I don't have to have keys, which is really nice. And right now I'm running electrical. So as you can see, let's come over here. I'll try not to make you dizzy. I've got all this Romex wiring that I brought from Dallas. I bought it from some dude off Craigslist multiple years ago, two or three years ago, and I've been saving it. Uh, but I've got a new electrical box, an electrical panel with a master breaker switch here. And this is a big old fat grounding copper rod. I haven't hooked up to anything. So I do have the power coming into here from my fo what I call the photon conversion chamber, which is basically my solar closet in the garage port. That's coming into right here through this conduit. And then I basically have about eight home runs, which is this yellow Romex chaos going here. And as you can see, I've got outlets all the way around. I've got about 14 outlets in here. Boom, 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 boom. I've tried to alternate it so every other outlet is on a circuit. You can see them there. This whole wall, by the way, is going to be a miter saw station. And so all the outlets, you know, have to be above the countertop height. That's why these are so high over here. Then on that small wall, the only wall that has no windows, that's going to be a tool wall. So I've got some outlets down low on that one. And then along this back wall is going to be all power tools and, you know, drill press station and various things. This is essentially a woodworking shop. So I'm really excited to, to get it done. So after I connect up all this, you know, get these outlets run. Oh, I'm going to have a two, 240 volt power in here. Eventually I have to buy another inverter to put in the photon conversion chamber. But once I have that inverter in, I will have 240 volts into this shop. And I've got some of this three wire to support a 240 volt outlet for a future saw stop table saw. I'm looking forward to investing, I don't know, five or $6,000 eventually into a table saw. So it can't take off my fingers. I already have, <laughs> I already have a pretty nice scar on my pinky from a table saw incident back in Idaho a few years ago. So I don't want that to happen again. So I'm investing in a really nice saw stop table saw. Eventually that might be a few years away, but I'm going to have 240 volt power ready to go for that. So I've got to basically finish running all this wiring, get it punched down to the main panel. I've got to get some grounding going on in here. Then I can put in all the insulation, which is these big rolls of stuff you see in the corner. I have invested almost $2,000 just in insulation. So this is all da, 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 big, huge rolls of uh, fiberglass insulation. So that goes in the wall cavities and then mostly plywood is going to go up on the walls. Maybe some uh, cedar fence pickets as siding here on the tool wall. I'm going to do a big thing of French cleats right here. If you know what French cleats are to organize my tools and be able to move them around. And then just like you see now here in the center of the room, this is just a piece of insulation up on sawhorses, but that's going to be like a big assembly or outfeed table. 
And then right here where the scaffold is sitting is probably where the table saw is going to be. So it's basically going to be an island area of my table saw and outfeed table with all around the perimeter is going to be my other power tools and workstations. And then I'll have, you know, a big rectangular path that goes through the whole thing. So I'm really happy with how this came out. So far, the rain stays out. I have a great view to the east out these massive windows, which you can't see because it's too bright. But I have nice overhangs. You can see the eaves up here, kind of keep the sun and the rain out for the most part. And with two big doors, I can get a cross breeze. And in the box here, sorry for moving around so much. But in the box here, that's a mini split air conditioner. So I will have AC in here. Um, but because of the power needs of the shop, I had to upgrade my photon conversion chamber and battery capacity, which I'll show you in another video here in a couple of days. But I just wanted to show you what it's like inside here, just with natural lighting and the open rafters. It feels spacious. It feels comfortable. And just like all mine ranch, it's all mine and it's not a garage. So I'm finally at age 52 for the first time ever having a workshop that is a dedicated workshop, not a converted garage or not some kind of other space or shared space. This is going to be dedicated to woodworking and maybe eventually some metalworking and welding. And building it myself saves me a ton of money, but it's also an incredible amount of work. But I kind of like most of the tasks, although I have to admit I am not a big fan of doing electrical panels. I've watched a lot of YouTube instructional videos on electricity and how not to burn the place down. Um, I'm not, I don't have to conform to code, which is nice because if I had to conform to code and get inspections, I would fail and I'd have to hire it out to an electrician. But I get, in, I have no inspections here because it is a Cochise County off grid um, opt out permitting situation here. All right, this is the workshop for now. Um, it's been in this state now for about two months. It's not making rapid progress, but all this, you know, Romex in the walls, just bare like that. That's, that's new, that's a change, and that's progress. So maybe the next video I do on this space will be showing you doing some of the insulation and maybe putting up some walls. And obviously I've got to get the bird blocking up in here so it actually is, you know, weather, weatherproof. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Ryan from All Mine Ranch, and I'll see you at some point. Bye.